corners in the coop. When I put up on the curb, I lost the roof. Oh, yeah. I stack it up and watch the shit move. And I swear it don't stop, I can't lose. Oh, yeah. I woke up, got straight to the money. Now I got a couple bands by my tummy. Oh, yeah. I woke up, got straight to the money. Now I got a couple bands by my tummy. Oh, yeah. Hey, mad at a nigga coming up. Strip club with it cutting up. Bag of ones for the fuck it up. Lord, baby, next run around. Hey, what's up, everybody, man? This is Black Sean for Street Culture Entertainment, Street Culture TV. Don't forget to drop a notification. I mean, don't forget to hit the notification button so you get a notification when I drop a video. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe, and don't forget to comment, man, because I, I like y'all comments, man. I like when y'all comment on my shit, man, because I like reading y'all comments, man, whether they're good or bad. So without further ado, this is the subject of my interview, I mean, of my, uh, of my video today. WAC 100 versus J Prince. Now, WAC 100 had an interview about a week ago. I say about a week ago. And I can't remember the name of the channel he had an interview on. But on the channel, he was basically describing how he had the license for an eight-part series slash documentary on Larry Hoover. And if y'all don't know who Larry Hoover is, Larry Hoover is the founder's is the founder of the Gangster Disciple Nation out of Chicago. He's been locked up since 1973. And he's real tied in with Jay Prince and rap -a -Lot Records in Houston, Texas. He's also an icon because he started a nation that still goes on today and that still thrives and still listens to him. Now, the thing WAC 100 was saying was that he had five hours of footage of interviews and visits and phone calls of Larry Hoover. Now, he's saying that he talked to Jay Prince Jr. And Jay Prince Jr. was like, let, let his daddy get the footage because there's a real tight end because Jay Prince is fighting real hard to get Larry Hoover freed. And he's been fighting for 20 some years. If you listen to the old Ghetto Boys Resurrection album, you hear Jay Prince having conversations with Larry Hoover on the Resurrection album by the Ghetto Boys. So when he told him no that he couldn't get the footage that Jay Prince told Larry Hoover Jr. to not work with him. And he's basically saying that Jay Prince, this is his quote, Jay Prince had his hand in a pot that didn't belong to him. He's just trying to get a piece of it. And he was saying that he's not scared of Jay Prince or anybody that yell mafia and rap a lot that is bullshit that he's not scared of it. Okay, which, you know, he has a right to. He has a right to not be scared. And he told Jay Prince that if he wanted to be involved with it, then the only thing they needed done was some editing so he can hire an editing company and they can discuss his percentage. <clears throat> they, can discuss his, they can discuss his percentage about the situation. And so he said when he asked Jay Prince and Jay Prince's team, do y'all have a movie? Do y'all have a script? Do y'all have a production company signed that everybody was quiet and that they were only using Larry Hoover's name for discussion? Okay, and then he said a lot of reckless ass shit. This one, this one whack went off the chain. He started saying a lot of reckless shit. In the clubhouse interview, in a clubhouse meeting on Clubhouse, this nigga said that Jay Prince was a punk and a coward. He's, <clears throat> he said he'll knock Jay Prince out. Okay. Now, this nigga was saying something about this would concern me. This would make me think WAC 100 is a fucking fed and a fucking dollar general Pyru. To me, he ain't no real Pyru because I don't know no real Pyru that acknowledges this nigga, man. But this nigga said something about posting evidence online against Jay Prince and Larry Hoover. Let me say this again. This nigga said something about posting evidence online about Jay Prince and Larry Hoover. Shit that will incriminate these men. Bro, what type of gangster nigga is you? Ain't you from L.A., my nigga? Like, 75% of the niggas I know from L.A. is real stand-up niggas, bro. Even if they not gangbangers, they some real stand-up niggas. They not gonna go tell on no niggas. What type of pyro nigga is you, bro? To go say you gonna post some evidence online about somebody. Now I now I know for a fact, bro, you down with 6 9 my nigga. You probably was with the whole shit that 6 9 was doing, bro. You probably supported that nigga. Because what type of black man wanna post evidence of 
another successful black man and, and another black man who always who already been out gone almost 50 years and put more evidence against him when he already an old man. What type of nigga is you, bro? What type of Pyru you represent? Bitch made nigga Pyru? I don't know. And that's no disrespect to the Pyrus. I'm just trying to get on this nigga ass. But I'm saying, what type of nigga is you? Then on top of that, you said... You said that Larry Hoover's not known. You said that if you ask your kids or your nephews, nieces about who Larry Hoover is, that they won't know. I believe that's bullshit because this gangster disciple shit been going on for years, bro. I know kids, bro, who are 11 and 12 years old. They might not know everything that Larry Hoover has done, but they know who the fuck he is. They know what he started. They know what he done done. So quit trying to lie to, quit trying to, lie to make yourself seem bigger, my nigga, because you're not that nigga, bro. You're not that nigga. You done, got pressed, you done already got pressed, bro, by New York goons, my nigga, and bitched up. You had that whole ass fight with them two white boys. Man, you can't fight, my nigga. Them two white boys, man, you barely whooped them white boys, bro. You ain't much really whoop them. You just got them up off you, bro. So go on, on with that bullshit you're talking about, my nigga. <clears throat> okay. Now, you saying the only thing that made... Larry Hoover's name synonymous with kids nowadays was the song BMF by Rick Ross when he said, I think I'm Big Meech Larry Hoover. Like I said before, that's bullshit because I know a lot of people who are way younger than me that know who the fuck Larry Hoover is, bro. Yes, the song did open a lot of people's eyes to who he was that didn't know who he was, but believe me, a bigger percentage of people knew who he was, bro. Going on with that bullshit. I don't, it's like you be talking about the side of your ass sometimes, man. And you just be trying to get uh, internet fame, bro. And you talking about you an OG and shit. Okay, then you're going to say that the difference between Chicago and L.A. is that L.A. got OG niggas that people respect. And Chicago don't because most of Chicago OGs are dead or in jail or they done moved on. As far as that goes, I'm going to kind of agree with you with that. But it's still G's in Chicago, bro, that niggas look up to. You just don't know them. And I'm not, and, and, and I'm not even fit to say no names because you the type of nigga to say niggas names on internet, bro. Because you a bitch like that. But I'm not gonna do that. It's a lot of OGs in LA, bro. It's a lot of, I mean, it's a lot of OGs in Chicago that niggas li listen to and look up to. I know a lot of niggas from Chicago. I know a lot of mafia insane vice lords from Chicago, and them niggas listen to their OGs. So I'm gonna kind of agree with you on that, but then again, you don't know what you're talking about. Okay, now for Jay Prince's response. Jay Prince said this, y'all. I'm finna let y'all hear what Jay Prince said. It's no secret that I, along with the Hoover family, lawyers and friends, are fighting hard for Larry Hoover freedom that the First Step Act law says he deserves. Meanwhile, this dude Wack and Karen Chapman has taken a position to work against the Hoover family by trying to monetize off his name and withhold footage that could contribute to his freedom. Now y'all heard that. He said he possesses, Wack 100 possesses footage and trying to monetize off of it. Footage that can help contribute to free Larry Hoover. Y'all heard that? All right. So if it's one thing this Wack dude is telling the truth about is that I don't fuck with him. When I was in L.A. talking to this lying-ass nigga, never once did he take the position he was partners in the theft of the Hoover families like he's doing on that rehearsed conversation with them clowns. Now, what he is not telling the truth about is why. So listen up. There's a woman by the name of Karen Chapman that was entrusted by the Hoover family to interview Larry Hoover with the understanding of bringing the interview back to the family. She decided to run off with the interview and a fake fraud contract claiming Larry Hoover signed all his rights away for nothing. Larry Hoover is far from being a dummy, so for Wack and Carol to be taking a position on disrespecting the Hoover family by attempting to sell Larry Hoover likeness Without the family permission is a mistake for whomever considering buying it. I've been around a long time, and I know when someone is trying to set me up with police conversations. So I won't lip wrestle with you cake-ass niggas on Clubhouse. But I tell you what, I don't know if you were violated on the block or what. But all that snake jealousy and hate shit you have in your heart, niggas, 
bring that shit to Dr. Prince, and I'm going to cure you of that disease. Let me say this to the homies in L.A. and around the world. All money is not good money. And a nigga that will kiss a rat in the mouth for any amount of money is capable of anything. Y'all heard what he said? He said when a nigga is able to kiss a rat in the mouth, he is capable of anything. What I just said, he talking about 6 9 because that nigga whack 100 be fucking with 6 9 the long way. And we all know what 6 9 did. We all know that nigga snitched. We all know that nigga was a bitch. So I ain't much going to elaborate what Jay Prince said. What he said is law. I can't even much elaborate on it. But I do know one thing, Wack. You can't keep disrespecting a man who has connections and been in the industry for 30 plus years and can make shit happen that you could never make happen in three lifetimes, bro. We look at Jay Prince as the pride of Houston. He was the first nigga that had a label in the South and put the South on his shoulders and put us out there. So you need to quit disrespecting the man because he does a lot for the community. You don't do shit but fuck people over, even your own homies, bro. Quit being a dollar, a dollar general pyro and be a man, my nigga. Quit putting people's name in your mouth because it seems like you're making a story up as it goes and make it seem good on your behalf. My name is Black Sean Groove, man. Street Culture Entertainment, Street Culture TV. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit the notification button to get notifications. And also leave a comment on this shit, man. I'm going to holler at y'all.